Okay, I was recently on YouTube um, talking to somebody that was having problems with feeding their be um, their bearded dragon, their beardy. I call them dragons. Um, and in explaining how I how I feed my dragon, she um, or I had mentioned about um, nail trimming, Tr you know, trimming the nails on a bearded dragon, um, how often I do it, and how to do it. And this person wasn't um, too comfortable with doing it on theirs, and I looked around and didn't see any videos on how to do this, so I figured I'd post one up and uh, see if it helps out. So first things first, um, the best thing to use for trimming is just a regular, everyday, normal nail clipper people use. I've seen the ones in the pet store that are, you know, 10 bucks, specially made for a lizard, blah blah blah. You don't need that. If you want to go and spend 10 bucks on one, go ahead. This is all you need, right here, 99 cents. Um, it's best to have two people doing this, one person to clip, one person to, to hold your dragon or entertain your dragon while you're doing it. Um, as far as what you're trimming, the nail itself is black, you know, top to bottom all the way to the toe. Um, I'm so angry today. There's also a little part below that nail. It's a white, whitish clear. It almost looks like, um, like dried Elmer's glue almost. And that's what's known as the quick. Um, it's kind of similar to a cuticle. Well, maybe not. The quick is, on a, on a dog or a cat, is what provides the blood supply to the nail. And you don't want to cut that. Um, they'll bleed, you know, it's painful. It's basically the equivalent of you hacking your fingernail up halfway up your finger. It'll hurt. Um, so when you do it, you want to be very careful, which is why, like I said, I like to have two people when I do this. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to try and do this on my own. Um, but I basically look at the nail. Any part past that cuticle can be cut off. And she's not going to cooperate, so I'm probably not going to even get a chance to do this. So I'm going to post up some pictures um, of the toe and what you're supposed to be cutting. Um, this camera won't exactly zoom in that great anyway on video mode. So I'll post up a link that you can look at. And um, basically, it's the same idea as trimming your own nails, except you're you know doing it on a moving creature, which means you need to be very careful. Um, actually, I wonder if I get her to stay on this. Oh, here we go. So what I would do is just put one toe between my fingers, not hard, but firmly. And you just grab your clipper like this. And you're just trimming off that excess nail past that little cuticle. And that's it. Snip, clip, done. And you just go on to the next toe, and the next toe, and the next toe. Hers are already, I keep them very, very trim. So I, that was probably the longest nail out of all of them, but it's as simple as that. If, if you don't have two people to do it, you can do it. It's just, you may have to spend a little bit more time, um, especially if you got a rambunctious one like this little girl is. Come here. Um, but it's like anything. Once you get used to doing it, you'll be good at it. You won't mind doing it and it'll save you from these little cuts that you get when you don't do it. So, okay, any questions, feel free to email, message. Um, if you have something nasty to say, don't bother sending it because I'll report you. All right, thank you.